hello students and welcome to my channel maths hub and today in this video i'll talk about the solutions of first order and higher degree solvable by y method right so let us understand what is solvable for y so in the last video i told you about solving by p right so in solvable for y your equation must be expressed as y as a function of x and dy by dx so we know that dy by dx is equal to p that means your equation must be in the form of y is equal to f of x comma p so where p is already dy by dx so what is the first step we'll differentiate the equation y equal to f of x comma p and on the left hand side you will see that when we differentiate y we'll get dy by dx so that will be replaced by p right so try to bring all the terms on one side and try to make factors then whichever factor is easy to solve to eliminate p we will eliminate p between that equation and the given equation right and that will become our so let us understand this method with the help of this exercise so you have y is equal to px plus a into p into 1 minus p so we have seen that solvable insolvable by p method we were factorizing the expression in linear factors of p right so if it is possible then the equation will be definitely solvable by p but here you can see that we cannot make factors but here we can express y as a function of x and p so the first step is take the derivative of y the entire equation with respect to x so left hand side will be dy by dx this is equal to when you take the derivative on the right hand side p and x both are functions of x so you'll apply the product rule p plus derivative of x is 1 plus x into derivative of p is dp by dx plus a is constant now we have p into 1 minus p you can open it up so the first term will be p so we will get derivative of p is dp by dx the second term will be p square so that becomes 2p into dp by dx right so now you can replace this dy by dx with p and you can see that p will get cancelled from both sides so the term that you will get is x into dp by dx plus a into dp by dx minus 2ap into dp by dx this is equal to 0 so we can take out dp by dx common from all the terms and we get x plus a minus 2 into ap is equal to z right so we get either dp by dx is equal to 0 or x plus a minus 2 into ap is equal to so if dp by dx is equal to 0, so dp will become 0. So on integrating, p comes out to be some constant c. And in the second case, it's not necessary that you need to solve both the equations. Since I need to eliminate p, so I've already got the value of p. So I'll substitute it back in this expression in the given equation. But let us see what is the value of p from here. p comes out to be x plus a by 2a. Right? So now let us evaluate this value p equal to c in the given equation. So y comes out to be cx plus a into c into 1 minus. So this becomes your answer. So from whichever equation you are able to calculate p quickly, just evaluate that p and put it back in the equation. So you need to eliminate p between the equations and you get your answer. Right? Okay. So you could have also substituted this value in, in this expression and you will have get another solution, right? So now let us do one more question and check out this method so that it becomes very clear in your mind. So y is equal to 2px plus p raised to power 4 into x square. So let's take the derivative. So dy by dx, I'm directly writing it as p. Then on the right hand side, we get 2p plus 2x dp by dx plus p to the power 4 into x square. So we have 2x into p to the power 4 plus 4p cube x square into dp by dx. Right. 
so p gets cancelled one of the p will get cancelled so we will have the expression i can take out dp by dx common so i'll get 2x plus 4p cube x square and i can club these two terms and i'll get p common from there and i'll have 2p cube um yeah 2p cube x plus 1 right equal to 0 so i can take out 2x also common from here so when i take out 2x common from here i will be left with 1 here and when i take out 2x common from here i'll get 2 and i'll get here 1 power of x so when i take the common factors i get 1 plus 2 q p cube x into 2x dp by dx plus p is equal to z so i can see that this term is easy to calculate so i can substitute 2x dp by dx plus p is equal to 0 so we have 2x dp by dx is equal to minus p and i can write this as 2 i can separate the variables 2 dp by p is minus dx by so i can integrate both sides and i'll get 2 log p is equal to minus log x plus log c right so this becomes log p square is equal to log c by x and so from here when i remove the log i'll get p square is equal to c by x or p is equal to under root c by x so now just substitute this value of p back in the equation so we get the desired answer as y is equal to 2 into under root c by x into x plus p raised to power 4 will become c by x raised to power 4 into x so this turns out to be 2 under root cx plus this will be c square by x square. So x square will get cancelled and I'll get y is equal to 2 under root cx. So this is your right. So I hope the method is clear to everyone and you can check your progress in the next slide. You can try these questions. And do let me know if you are stuck up with any of these questions right in the comment section. And thank you so much for listening. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not still subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.